Hello, world. How is everybody? I actually did this right at 2.30. Yeah, look at that. Hope it's going well. Um, something I need to do or something I just realized I can do. Uh, so I've got a stream PC over here. And I realized that what I can do actually is set it up so that I can see its monitor over on this monitor, which would be nice. Also, I do some editing on there and it's kind of uncomfortable to do. So I can fix that. So I will be fixing that. That's not what we're doing right now, though. Right now, what we're doing is uh, we're going to go pick up where we left off last time and build a command line tool for like an actual Python command line tool. Um, yeah, let me see, where do I wanna actually try and do that? Um, I guess we should make it its own thing. Um, so, cause I've messed around before with like having scripts, Python scripts that you could actually just go in and you know, run from the command line, you could put them on your path and you run them. But I was looking up yesterday, I, like I've got this tool that I want to build that's uh, a snake case renamer. So it like mushes spaces and does all this stuff, which I did it in bash to start with just as an exercise um, and learned a little bit more about said um, and how said doesn't actually work the way it is documented sometimes when it's doing some of the regular expression matching. Um, but that's a different story. The um, but so what I want to do is actually make it a full blown command line tool, not just a Python script in general, but like a script. So like, and I think, and so I found some stuff yesterday. I have many a tab open, um, where I should just close all these and start over. Uh, Pip X. So there's Pip X, which lets you install stuff like Pip, but with its own virtual environment, basically. Which I'm going to use that. And then also it's Python endpoint. No, entry point. Command line. Entry point specs. So. This, we're going to go through this a little bit. Um, and so this is going to be a little bit of one of those where we're just trying to figure stuff out um, and move in from there. So yeah, so two groups entry point has specific console scripts. Yeah, so this is going to be reading and learning. To start with, let's just go ahead and make a new package. Um, Get init bear hello world CLI. And then we're going to go into dev. Get clone. Get repo. Hello world CLI. Cool. Uh, hello world CLI. Open VS code from command line. How do we do that? I really should have closed all these tabs. Uh, if you want to run VS code from the terminal by simply typing code, VS code has a command Shell command and swap command on the path. Tag code to your path. After installing, launching VS Code. All right, so I don't think I've already done that, right? So if I do code. Oh, I have. There you go. Sweet. All right, uh, new file. Hello, world CLI. Test Python script to install as a CLI tool. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing we should do, oh, I can actually do that from code, right? So how do you bring up the terminal? Terminal, new terminal. Control tilde, is that it? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna remember that at some point. That is not the best font or the best color. We should make that highlighter more highlightable. Um, so let's make a virtual environment. Python 3 M V M V V M V. Zoop. Cool. Touch, get, ignore. There's my get ignore. Uh, let's go to GitHub and we're gonna add this as its own thing. Like I could just do this on the snake case thing, but I wanna have like its own example. Do I want to call this Hello World? Yeah, that's fine. Just look at it. That's cool. Get a dev branch going. <laughs> I'm editing this thing from like three different directions, but it's all just text files in the middle, right? Uh, so let's do this. That's fine. Um, close that, close that. So this is where I still don't have structural setup. So, oh, where was I doing it? Actually, I think I was doing it in Snake case names. Yeah. No, I wasn't. Um, I'm also trying to look like I want to get a setup for my structure of things, right? Um, so hello world, CLI. New folder. So tests are going to go here. So I want the I want the command to exist up here as hello world as its own thing. Or do I want it to be say hello world? Yeah, let's call it say hello world. Because that lets me then make a folder called hello world. Test, hello world. Yeah, so some of this is also just set up. Like I wanna I wanna define a good structure for this. And get a tree going. Oh, where did I I started doing yeah, yeah, I did it on the desktop, that's where it is. Hey, I just picked up this Python. Yes, please. It's probably a way to do that automatically. Um I did some of this on the desktop. Oops. With this pie struck. Ah, come on. But I didn't really get into it. So, user bin, environment, Python 3. Oh, actually, I can just do Python because I'm assuming you're in the virtual environment. Um, import 
unit test. Though, actually, I guess you should do three, right? Hang on, let's see what this does. Which Python, which Python three. Huh. Python version. Three seven six. Python three version. Three seven six. Yeah, that's fine. But I like the I like the explicitness of Python three up here. Um, import unit test. So we're just gonna build out a simple, a really quick, simple application. Hopefully, quick and simple. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so class. Hello world. Test. You don't need that. Pass. If name equals main unit test main. So to run this, it's not going to do anything because it's not going to find anything. Ran zero tests, everything's okay, cool. So, oh, it's weird, it tabbed it over one too many. Shift tabs are, yeah, there we go. Test. Hello world. String, whatever. So now we get a, oh. Wait, what? Inconsistent use of tabs or spaces in intention. What's going on? Oh, ah, interesting. I don't remember which one I like better, tabs or spaces. I think I. What's PyCharm set to? Spaces. What's Pip8? Pip8. 8. 8. Eight. Tab spaces. I think it I think you go with spaces. Use four spaces per engine. Yeah. Spaces are preferred method of indentation. So how tabs? Tells mm. whether we automatically detected when a file is opened based on the content. Editor insert spaces. Insert spaces when pressing tab. The setting is overwritten based off the file contents when editor detects indentation is on. Which we probably want, right? Editor detect indentation. Okay. So we do a tab now. There we go. Also, it tabbed way too far. Why is it doing that? Oh, space is eight. Yikes. Tabs. Tab editor. Detect for Let me quit this and start again. Oh, come on. Okay, so turn off the indentation thing. I don't like that. I'm still setting us up. 
Indent spaces. Yes. Turn that off. Tab size and utterances will automatically take. Tab size. Number of spaces a tab is equal to. So then it's overwritten based on detect indications on, right? Insert spaces on. Okay. Try this again. There we go. And then this was a tab. Okay. Ray, we win. Why didn't it run a test? That should have run a test. Oh, because we got, it's got to be unit test dot test case. That's why. There we go. Ran a test. All right. Hey, <laughs> green finally. Um, and so now the trick is how do we get to Hello World, right? Hello world dot pi. So this doesn't need this. This isn't going to be run directly by Python. I guess you could do it during testing sometimes. I don't know, whatever. Um, so this is where we have to do the import. And So I think what we need to do is just do this. And hello world. And I don't think this is actually gonna work right now because I don't have the thing in there that tells it it's a module. Was there a one there? What does that mean? One problem in this file. Import hello world. Oh, okay, right. Except why? Ah, maybe. New file. And it isn't it that pie? Uh, Python, pitch, h i t c h h i k e r module. Structuring your projects. This tab is open in seven other places under here. Init.py. Ah, oh, see, that's something I don't like about code. Like I was on that field and when I switched away from the application it it took away my focus I don't like that see if I'm right there and I switch away and I come back oh no maybe it did keep it that time wait rename hang on new file ASDF if we switch away and we come back yeah see it's it loses the focus. But if we rename and come back, nope, loses focus again. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. So knit.py, now will context work? Yes, it will. Okay, right. So, because, nope, no, it's not. possible I don't have the right so we're gonna get the directory name of this file let me see see how do they do tests in this I 
obviously these test modules must import your package. Right, you can just view it as expect the package to be installed in inside packages. Use a simple but explicit path modifier to resolve the package property. I highly recommend the later. Prime developer, do you set up develop to test an actively changing code base also requires them to have an isolated environment. Yeah, that's no good. I mean, yes, that you want that, but. Yeah, that's where I got this from. We should pin this. I'm surprised that isn't pinned already. Test drone development testing. Some people will assert that you should distribute your tests within your module itself. I disagree. It often yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't like that, but it may not be interpreting this. Whatever, we know we want that in it thing. Actually, I'm curious to see if I delete this, I come here, test hello world, and then from context import, the world. Ooh, I might have caught it. Run. Attempted relative import with no known parrot package. But if we do this, we come here and run this. Crap. Do you have to do this in here too? Nope. All right, now I gotta figure this out. From context, import hello world, right? Context, that's being imported. Or it should be. We're getting the directory and then we're going up a directory. We're getting the absolute path. I don't know what the zero is. Oh, I was in the first space. Yeah, so why? See that works. Because if I do two, if I do something here, that won't work, right? That'll fail. No module found hello worlds. <laughs> hello worlds. Okay, so this works. That context is going. Even though it doesn't like it. Test hello world. From dot context. Import hello world. Why didn't this work? Attempt to Attempted relative import with no known parrot package. I really think this is gonna need this. Uh, wait, where was there? That's there. Google the message. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get, okay. It means you're running module inside the package as a script. Only run scripts from outside the package. Purchase module needs to be inside the package. And also needs to be clear. Uh, 
it's quite common to have a layout like this main API with my module like this. We're supposed to run it is Python M, uh, but somewhat verbose, and doesn't mix well with the shebang line. Simple fix in this case is assume that my module. Oh, well, so wait a minute. What if I do just from context? No, it's probably not gonna work either. It worked. Did it pick it up though? Def set up self. I wish it filled in self like Pytron does there. Uh, HW equals hello world. Is that going to work? Hello world is not defined because I may not have put it in there yet. Ah, crap. Oh, unless it's nope. Hello world has no attribute. Hello world. Okay, we're getting closer. Import hello world. I'm spelling everything right, right? I just copied it, so that should be right. Hello world is not defined. So this is one of those where it's like, why isn't the directions working? Almost certainly I've done something silly in there, but. Test modules must input your package of the module, right? I highly recommend the later. Then within the individual test modules import the module like so so that does sample what does that do oh ran one test okay so it got hello world in there. Hello world is module. Did I type that right last time? It has no attribute. Use class from module. Python, probably won't Python. First one was Python, second one wasn't Python.
Creating and importing. This is all super basic, but I don't know how to do it. So you can get the functions. But how do I get a class? Defining a class. See, it should work there. Oh, does it matter? Hang on. So there's nothing in there? funny if that's what the problem was nope no attribute hello world but if we just do it this way now does that work nope hello world's not defined come on we're so close we're so close we're in hello world we got it I think I know how to do this one way Because you could do this, right? You could do from hello world import hello world. Time that out for a second. Can't import hello world from hello world. Oh, maybe that's module stuff. I bet that's module stuff. Just context, go back. Yeah, okay, that would be module stuff. Okay, I got it, that's fine. Class, hello world. From context, import hello world. And like, if I do that, it fails. I don't know what's going on there. Can I get Hello Worlds? That got it. I think when you do an import, it'll actually call that, right? Maybe not. We got a knit. Oh, we don't have a knit in here. Let's put a knit in here just in case. I don't think that matters. So we'll just run that. What happens? Just print. Oh, it doesn't have. Oh, there it went. So we run this. Okay, the import doesn't call the stuff. Now what if we do this? HW equals hello world. Does that work? Name error, hello world is not defined. Hello world has no attribute, hello world. How do you get to this stuff? Kill this dot text. Stop uh, text. Listen to me. Your name. Pi. Import hello world. HW equals hello whoops. Hello world that way run hello world is not defined does it have to have this here is that what I'm missing I thought that was optional no okay
that worked. Let's go back here. Close off, off, that off. Hello world. We'll leave that there for now. Attempted relative import with no known parent package. I'm assuming. Maybe I'm putting this in the wrong place. I wish they had, they showed you where to put that. Except maybe they do down here. Yeah, test context.py. Then with an individual test modules, import the module like so. This will always work. Not my experience. Packages. All right, let's try something else. So what if we put an init up here? Test hello world, run. Nope. Delete. Hello. Hello, Bob. How goes it? I'm fighting with Python right now, trying to figure out where to put uh a context file to figure out where tests go. How goes it with you? Sunday treating you okay? Hopefully the weather's nice wherever you are. So from dot context, but it's weird because when you do this, it gets it, but it doesn't load But I can't get to. Uh... I was struggling with some HTML. I hear you. What you got? Maybe I can help. It's been a while since I've done like HTML, HTML, but I did it for a while, so maybe I can help out. All right, this is silly, but what if we move it down here? There's no way this changes anything. Problems, one. Name hello world is not defined. And when we try and do hello world dot hello world, it has no attribute hello world. Context.hello world? I just I'm just making stuff up at this point. Context is not defined. Okay, that makes sense. What if we do hello world dot hello world? Hello world has no attribute hello world. Sweet. Gaming stuff. I like it. Big fan of the games. kind of games you got like poker games or like first person shooter games or like Dungeons and Dragons games which I guess they're called RPGs these days why is that work? what if we take the, those off it still shouldn't work the world's not defined one more time let's see what this happens Hello world has no attribute. Hello world still has no attribute. <laughs> I 
let's actually oh hey i thought that was a url that's awesome all right how many hello worlds you got one two three four five let's do it oh actually hang on this won't make any sense at all what is that gonna do to explode right yeah it has no attribute i don't get the attributes oh you know what i can do here if this works i'm gonna laugh a lot Oh, yeah, see, it's okay. But how actually, I just realized something we can do is we can put a dictionary on it or dir on it and then see what it's actually got in there. Let's see what that does. Oh, it has nothing in there. Well, that's the problem. It's it's not that bad. Um, it just takes it just takes a little practice and a little learning. Um, do you do? Have you done any other language stuff? Um, so you're doing HTML, cool. Got no problem with that. Do you do any other like JavaScripty stuff or any other? It's not a beer. Nah. I should resize that in. I'll do that in a minute. Yeah, it's all good. Like the the languages, whatever. Pick one, whichever one makes sense to you. Um, the the basics of most of them are pretty basic. Once you get your head around the syntax and kind of all the variables and loops and the conditionals and stuff like that. Um, but once you once you get into one, it's not too hard to jump to another one. Usually, at least that's been my experience. I haven't jumped that many, but. Um, I'm liking Python. The one that the thing that gets me the most about it is you have to be consistent with your tabs and spaces or tabbing stuff over. I've gotten used to that now, but when I was first doing it, I kept running into problems because like I'd open a file with tabs and then I'd try and insert spaces and it would explode. And I was like, I couldn't tell the difference because it's all white space, but I'm getting used to it now. Yeah, exactly. I, so I did Ruby for a little while, and that was one of the things that I liked about Ruby too. Was the same thing that it just kind of reads. Um, Python's, uh, yeah, if you're getting installed a Python package, yep. Um, the 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 Python stuff has gotten easier for me. Like I've gotten used to it enough that I kind of read it, but it still feels like I have to watch out if the methods get too long because I just I start losing it. And so, but it's actually a good practice to keep the methods kind of small. So. Um, it ain't awful. I still can't figure out why that isn't working. Because you can't do... I mean, I guess I could do it explicitly from here. That's trying to use... a kind of a hack. I just don't know why it's not working. It's funny because like this is I copied this stuff straight out of this, which is like one of the main ones. Mine's not called sample, but whatever. Is there anything there that I'm missing? No. Yeah, this will work regardless. Nope. I got JavaScript to get stuff. It's hard to read. It's to space out the lines. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you never use semicolons? So are semicolons going away, or are they supposed to be there all the time now? It's been a while since I've been in JavaScript. Um, and it kind of it went back and forth as far as I know, but like I've seen some stuff that does it, and sometimes it doesn't. Is it still optional, or is there like a way that people are pushing these days? And like at some level, if your code works, cool. Now, if you're on a bigger team, you need, like consistency is good. But um... all right, I think I'm just gonna hack around this and do it this way. I hope. Oops. 
this should be a stack overflow question is what this should be. I'm not going to write that up right now, though. Um, or am I? Maybe I am. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, so I used to do Perl, um, where I'm pretty sure... I think Perl had semicolons at the end of the line. It's been a long time since I've done Perl. Um, yeah, but it, yeah, that was one of the things, because like you could very easily... I think it's probably one of the places where the joke comes from, like if you miss a semicolon and everything breaks, um, which... I've I've had a few times in my life where I've spent hours looking for things like semicolons or whatever. Um, we were trying to flip a, one, a website at one point and somebody fat fingered something in a DNS entry and it took us like three hours to find it. Um, and it was just like, because we did a test run with it, but then instead of copying and pasting, they retyped over here and they typoed. It was not a happy time. Not a happy time. I'm gonna write this up because this doesn't seem like it should be the thing. So, actually, I wonder if we do Python two, if that makes a difference. Okay, so make their Py two test Py two. Ooh, look at that Py two test. So let's throw that to code. Oh, that's cool. Welcome to the programming world. It is awesome and frustrating and sometimes awesomely frustrating. Um, but it's, I love it. It's cool. Being able to, for me, being able to tell the computer what to do instead of the computer just doing its thing and me having to deal with it is awesome. Like it feels like a superpower. Making things move, making things do whatever. Um, it's it's cool but yeah so if you're new to it you will get frustrated if nobody has warned you of that there will be time like you will hear this over and over again but like google the error message is your friend i never took computer science i'm i'm in i'm more interested in now than i ever was um but i never i never took it that that's like the you know the the math and the low level of it like i'm i'm pretty interested in it um, but I never, uh, I never, I never actually did it. Um, if you are interested in the mechanics, uh, code history, no hidden. I'm spelling all that wrong, but it's going to get it anyways. Yep. Oh, uh, is there a Wikipedia? There you go. If you're if you're interested like in the the base and the fun this is one of the best computer books I've ever read for getting my head around like what how the computer actually functions. Um, that's a good one. Um, it's not really programming. It's just this is how the computer actually works. I read it a couple times. I started it once and I kind of backed off of it because it didn't I, like my brain didn't quite get there yet. But after I'd been doing it for a little while, I read it and like I had some kind of eye opening moment. even after like years of, of writing programs, I had some kind of eye opening moments about like, oh, OK, that's how it works underneath, like the underneath part, which helped me be more comfortable with the programming part. Um, don't like that's not don't read that one. Don't expect that to be like a programming book or whatever. But like if you're interested in it in general, that might be a fun one to, to get into. I like that book a lot and I need to reread it. Uh, okay, so we threw it into code. Did we? Oh yeah, set up a new thing. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna do this sample. We're gonna do exactly what. Uh, uh, where'd it go? Sample and hit pi.
Oh, I wonder if it doesn't do classes. Sample core, sample helpers. All right, sample pie. Sample. Oh, so we're in sample. I'm ready to go core dot pie. Core dot pie. Class. The thing to hit. Thing to get. Uh. Def. Got it. Self. Return. True. Just to put something in there. Um. Yeah. So I've never done the algorithms part of that. Um. But the spending days and hours on stuff to make it go and it being worth it totally totally with you on that like that's where i am um i i basically like i spent well so like this is an example right i've got this thing that i'm trying to do and i don't know how to do it right now so i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep banging into it until i figure out how to do it um and the neat thing is like with computers you generally speaking there is a way to make it happen like as long as you can get down far enough into the code uh you can make you can make it do the thing. And like, that's one of the things that I love. And it's a great thing about like solving one of those two. It's like, ah, I beat you. Um, and so totally worth it. Now watch this one totally kick my ass. Um, well, so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna make a test directory. Oops, that's not what I meant at all. New folder, tests. Why isn't it typing? Code sometimes loses its way. Test core pi, right? I don't think they actually test basic, test advanced. Okay, so they're not giving you the name of the thing, whatever. Um, that's fine. So there's our test, there's our sample. Oh, surely it doesn't need to set up that pie there. That wouldn't make any sense at all. But then we're going to make this file tests context. Context.py. We're going to paste all this junk in it. It's going for sample. And now in test core. We're going to do this. And that's gonna fail. Did not work, which is what was expected. Uh, we're actually gonna write that one up on stack overflow real quick. This is gonna be boring, but I wanna get the answer. Um, Oh, this, I gotta bring the font down a little bit here so I can see what's going on. Um, calling importing modules into tests via hitch hiker. method and my foot to sleep ah yeah um okay so yeah this is sorry this is gonna be boring on stream but I need to I want to 
I want to solve it. Like I can probably, I think I've gotten a way to solve this, but I want to understand why those directions, which are one of the first things that you get to when you're looking at like how to do a Python module don't, aren't working for me. Like something's messed up somewhere. Um, and I want to understand what's going on there. Um, Method described in that text. Nope, it's an image. Here, I'm going to pull this out to a new thing. And we're going to move this over. Move that back. Move this here. No, oh, whoops, that was not. Where'd my window go? There's my window. Let's try that one. Oh, can I move that in? How do you move that in when there's only one tab? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Let's put that down there. Now ah, let's move it over here. Let's do that. And let's do this. And let's do this. Based on the one described in the Hitch Hikers Guide to Python. Uh, and method. Let's make this the link. Tiger's link, put that in. Um, <laughs> uh, so I didn't code with the Twitch API, but um, there's a, a Python module. So yes, technically I did, but I just use somebody else's module. Um, what's it called? Twitch IO. I think is it. Installation getting started. Getting started. Grand bots. Yeah, this is the one. Um, so. All I did was I went through Twitch. I got the API credential stuff. Um, I started, so the the message boards or the chat is uh, backed by IRC. Um, and so I started looking at doing some IRC work and actually somebody on stream was like, have you seen Twitch IO, which is this thing? And I said, no, I have not. That sounds delightful. And sure enough, uh, I mean, like it's nothing. Like I just, all I did was basically put in one, um, one little thing, uh, where is it? Dev? I think it's in dev. Uh, Twitch bot alpha code. Yeah, so all I did was I made this little command. Like, almost all of this is uh, comes out of the structure of it. But I made this GIF command, and then here's the code that it goes through and to make the new GIF um, and build the output page. I know very little CSS. Um, I, I knew CSS back when CSS1 was out. I was okay at that, but it's I haven't done CSS stuff in a long time. Um, I, I can poke at it. Like I've got a website with a theme that somebody else built. I can poke at it enough to change the theme, but like writing one from scratch is not something I would have a capability of doing right now without some serious research, um, which is cool. I want to do more CSS stuff, but like I've got other things in front of learning CSS again uh, to do. But I, the way I kind of do stuff is I have a thing that I want to do and I figure out whatever I need to learn to go do the thing. So 
if I, I'm thinking about doing some stuff on my website as one of my next projects, I will need to learn more CSS in order to do that. So when that happens, I will go through and learn more CSS, um, which isn't, I don't know, that works for me. Like that, I don't think that's necessarily the best way to do it. Um, and I'm kind of changing the way that I do some of that stuff, but like so far it's worked. Um, I oh, trying to style the drop down so it, so that actually looks like a drop. Yeah, I wish I could help you. That's outside my outside my can right there. Anything uh, anything more than like moving list items or changing font sizes, and I start to get a uh, start to get out of my depth. Uh, where we go? Where we go? Here we go. Uh, trying to build a module. Via the method described in the galaxy. I'm running into problems with the test. My setup. Oh, let me do just to make sure this isn't actually the problem. Pi two test new setup.py. Just make sure that actually isn't the problem. Test score from import go. Nope. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh a lot of Python stuff people build as modules. Um, most of my stuff hasn't been that yet. It's just been like individual scripts, but I want to actually build a, build a module and then I'm going to make a command line tool out of that module. So you can just call like hello world or whatever, and it runs all the script stuff from it. Um, so that's, that's my goal for right now. It, it won't be hard once I've done it the first time. Um, and like, if this, if this was working, it wouldn't be that hard. I just, I ran into a problem that it's not doing the thing, but like, no, my general take on it is sometimes you run into hard things, but if you can just focus and like, but dev is just like finding the, finding the thing that doesn't work and forgetting about the rest of it and then figuring out how to do that one thing and then moving on to the next. It's just kind of that that iterative process. So like, I'm stuck right now, but like I don't, I've practiced a lot about not letting that get to me because um, it can be super frustrating. And sometimes I walk away from a little bit like, I need to take a break, go walk. Um, but it's all, it's all doable. I mean, that's the coolest thing for me about tech stuff or the dev stuff is it's all doable. Like you can, like you can make your own modules, you can, you could build your own web server if you really wanted to. Highly advise against that. It's super complicated, but you could do it. Like somebody built all the stuff that you use on a computer. So it's all buildable. Like there's no, there is no secret magic in computer stuff. Like it's all, and that's what I like about that code book. It's kind of gets you the idea of like, it's all ones and zeros under there. And it's just about how you move the ones and zeros around. Um, but yeah, I mean, any, anything, Anything you've seen, you have the capability of doing given enough time and energy, right? And attention. Um, that not saying it's easy necessarily, but it's possible. And I love that. Oops. Yeah, love to see your site. Uh, so I've been coding uh, 20 something years, maybe more. Um, well, I mean, I guess if you counted it, really, I wrote my first piece of code on my grandfather's little TI-99 4A, which you may or may not know of, know of probably not, um, when I was probably four or six, but that doesn't count. 20 years is a really long time, yeah. Um, and it's probably getting closer to, th no, actually, yeah, ah, whatever, somewhere around 2030, yeah. Um, but like that's the, but I just started, right? And so you're starting now. So in 20 years, you will have been doing it for 20 years, assuming you stick with it. I mean, if you if you don't like it, you don't like it. But if you uh, if you like it and you're into it, 
And if you've already got a website, cool. But yeah, shoot me, shoot me your site. Whoop. Come up, come up, come up. There we go. Nice. Hey, featured games. Oh, is this what you're talking about, about your dropdown? Snake, Tetris, Pong, sweet. Nice. I like it. Oh, you're on Twitch? What's your Twitch? Also, what's your Twitter? I follow everybody on Twitter. Whoops, that got all giant, and now I can't see what's going on. Oh, right, right, right. yeah, I can clearly get your thing, because it's like literally right there. Duh. Uh, how do I copy that? It exploded. Is that how we get there? What does that do? You card, okay. That was all our conversation. How do I actually get to your like? Take me to see you. Ah, there we go. Maybe that's it. Hey, there we go. That only took an hour. And that's your Twitter too. I like following people on Twitter. Hey, Bob Ross RTX. There we go. Sweet. I dig it. I dig it. Why did my music stop? Oh, there it goes. Let's see if it broke all this. Ah, Twitter. There you go. Yep, I found it. Only took 15 minutes. Yeah, I haven't actually done any customization on any of my stuff at all. So I really kind of need to, but like, I just kind of want to stream. And so I like, I every, when I'm ready to go, I look at that stuff. I'm like, oh, I should really do something about that. And then I don't. Um, one of these days I will. Uh, Pi 2. Whoops. Well, where'd I put it? I put it there. I didn't mean to put it there. Yeah, it's fine. No, it's not. Let's move it. Otherwise, I'm going to forget that it's there. So this is under Pi 2 test, it looks like. Okay, cool. So let's get rid of this for now. Move Pi 2 test to our desktop, which is really just. <sighs> there. There we go. Now we can get to it. Code. Bang. Okay, so setup didn't help. Test, sample, sample. Let's make a new file in there. Oh, no, we already got it. Crap. Okay, so there's our init. Core thing to get. Context, sample, code, run. See, that is just what this thing says to do. I just want to, before I post the question on Stack Overflow, I want to look at this one more time. That's why I wanted to go through it. 
Because, like, sometimes going through it, like, sometimes the writing of the question lets me figure out what I'm actually doing wrong. Wait a minute, this was different. No, okay, that's right. Let me try something now. Um, actually, I guess I can just do it here. I just want to see. So that is... What if we move these up? Oh, see, you can't. Oh, you can. Okay, that worked. Look at that. Look at you. I didn't think that was going to work. It's still the same thing. Yes, please. Yes, please. So that works. All right, how to write this question. Okay, I need to write this in something that's not Stack Overflow for a second, um, just because it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> hey, uh, there's actually some, uh, there are some practices where that actually makes sense, by the way. Um, so like, I think my site right now, I can't remember if I did or not. Um, yeah, I, I actually put this, so, um, Google Lighthouse, no, Google Score Speed. Google Speed Score. Page Speed Insights. So, depending on what you're trying to do, and one, like this, people get real religious about all this stuff. Pick your battles wisely. Um, where? Somewhere in here. There's basically, so like speed score stuff. If, if you've got HTML and CSS and different files, the browser has to make two requests to the server and get two things back and and get it. If everything's in one file, it actually re re reduces, you know, by 50% the number of calls that have to go to the server. So some of the, um, I guess you can't open these, um, but there is a theory, there is a, there is a style that you can do that can help improve speed a little bit where you actually put the stuff in line. Makes the files a little bit bigger. And so if you've got a whole bunch of files, maybe it makes sense to have it in an extra extra thing, an external file. Also, if you had to go through and manually change it everywhere, that's probably something you don't want to have to do. That's when I'd throw it to an external file. But if but like my system automatically updates all the code across all of them for me, so I don't care. But whatever, if it works, like that's I'm a big fan of like getting it to work first, and then you can go back and do some optimization until you hit a point where you can't mess with it. Like there's it's all a balance. Um, and that's, if you haven't been doing this for this long, you're, you're going to walk into that stuff all the time, but I can tell you 20 years later, I still walk into it all the time. Um, so don't, don't let people get all up in your head about that. Um, right. Yeah. All right. So we're going to pull this 
to here. Uh, I need to be able to see it. There we go. I'm running into problems with the test structure. File structure looks like this. So, tree this. Sample. I can take PyCache out of there. I don't need that. With sample core dot pi uh, code. Tab that. Uh, might as well put something in here so people don't yell at me for it. Test, got it. Uh, SC equals sample dot core. If name equals main. Unit test, main, go. <laughs> right, it's the Lord. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's, I, I, I don't find that helpful. Uh, some people are just like that, though, but, like, um... I'm not a fan of that approach. Like, clearly, if you're interested in your learning, I think that's the way to do it. Um, if you have JavaScript questions, I'd be happy to help. Uh, I'm not super good at it. CSS questions, I can't super help you with. Uh, JavaScript, I've got a shot at because that's m more in my realm. Um, the CSS and layout stuff is not in my bag. Uh, test score. So this is where it fails, right? So we really just got the three files we need to mess with. Tests, context, pi. Tests, test, core.py. Did I spell that right? Yeah, because when I do that, but if I do this... Let me just make sure that it really doesn't work here. It has no attribute sample class. Right, okay, so... And then also, this doesn't work. Uh, 
So that's this. Oh, I should make this Python. I forget how to do that. I'll do that in a minute. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Is this going to be it? Uh, hang on. Python test score. Attempted relative import in non package. Attempted relevant import in non package. Attempted relative import in non-package. Uh, attempted relative import in non-package. Oh wait. See, asking questions sometimes is really, like, getting the question right is tricky sometimes. Like, I want to make sure I've got all the detail in there that I can, but nothing that doesn't matter. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly the right way to do it. I think you you keep getting pieces and you figure out stuff. So like, um, I use this app, which I changed the color on recently that I don't really like as much. Um, but like, here are some Python notes that I have. Like, I just make notes and notes and notes and notes and notes about stuff, so that when I next time I'm gonna go do something that's anywhere close to this, I've, if I've got the notes and I know that I've got the notes, I can get right to it. You can find all this stuff online, right? But like some, like, for example, right now, I have this many tabs open on like three different browser windows. But once I saw, once I figure out how to do this, I'm gonna make one note of that in my little notebook. And then if I ever need to do it again, I go right back to it. And so that's a little module, like, you know, the. A, package or whatever or something like that you can use and, and push forward so yeah it's all it's all about figuring out how to get the pieces moving um and fi figuring out the pieces how to understand the pieces um i think is exactly the right approach yeah yeah take it easy we'll see you have a good one All right. Question, question, question. Uh, okay, so there's core. My content. Oh, so I know what I want to do. Um, let me try. Where's my other? So where's my code three? Hello world CLI app. Okay. So that's this one. Hello world test. This fails. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Attempted relative to, yeah, see. It's the same thing, right? Yup. Um, okay. Trying to build a module via the method described in the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. Is it a mod module or package? What am I actually trying to build? Project. Let's just say project. 
I'm running into problems with the test structure. My file structure looks like this. With sample core. Tests context equal to all that. And tests test core equal to that. So, a wrong thing. Here we go. This is so silly. This is one of those, like, I thought this was going to be the simpler part. Or the more straightforward part. Where's Pi T test? Okay, so that's there. Because it can be. Let me just make sure. Yeah, init.py. Any directory with init.py is considered a Python package. Different modules are packaged or imported in similar manner as plain modules. The different modules in the package are imported in similar manner as plain modules. Whatever. With a specific behavior for the NI package, which is used to gather all package wide definitions. A file modu.py and pack is imported with statement import modu pack import pack.modu. Statement will look for init file and pack and execute all of the top level statements. Then it'll look for a file named that and execute all of its top level statements. If these operations various function classes are defined, it's available after these operations. Right. A commonly seen issue is to add too much code. When the project goes into complexity, there may be sub packages. In this case, importing a single item from a sub sub package require executing all those files. Are in registry. Leave my file empty is conceived nor normally even good practice. So the package modules and sub modules do not need to share any code. Empty. Empty. I just want to do everything I can here. Empty. To make sure I'm not doing anything silly. Context Pi works. should do is Close that. And close that. I can close that. That's gonna fail.
No, because I'm not doing anything. So CD into tests. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Python test core. Attempted relative import in non-package, which I think is the same message I got up here, right? Value error, attempted relative import in non-package, yeah, okay. Oh, that's the gobbledygook up here is what was throwing me a little bit. Oh, this is value error. Wait a minute, that was different. CD user brand PyTest 2, user brand. Oh, that's using Python 3. Okay, that's fine. It's doing the same thing in 2, so I'm okay with that. So it gets sampled there. Okay. makes for fascinating stream stuff, but this is where I need to be right now. So I'm gonna try to run test test core with Python 3.7. I get this error. if I run the tests file from outside the test directory or in it. Hello, Ham, Hamlaw, Hamlaw44, how's it going? Oh, he got Bender, nice. How goes it? Hopefully you're having a good Saturday. Man, it would be great if it was Saturday. I hope you're having a great Sunday, even though Sunday is not Saturday. Wish it was. Maybe we can all get tomorrow off and do a three-day weekend. How about that? Doing good. Uh, fighting with a little Python right now. Um... It's not, so I'm, I'm going through uh, this little how to do a package from this Hitchhiker's Guide to Python, and it's I, I think I've done exactly what it says, and it aren't working. 
So I'm just writing up a Stack Overflow thing, which is going to not be the most interesting thing on stream to do, but I want to, I need to solve it. So, and I'm out of options. Um, uh, well, actually, I've got a couple ideas to try, but I want to know why this, why this specific thing isn't working. Um, I've, I've taken two, I've taken three different runs at it from start to finish, and it just isn't doing it. And I would like to understand why. Um, and then once I get the question writ, I'll try and uh, I'll try and actually solve it myself. So that's where I'm at. And it's one of the like writing questions sometimes takes way longer than you would expect. It should be like, hey, why isn't this working? But like I'm trying to get all the detail in there so that people can go. I try and answer all the questions that people would ask about my question up front. Um, so that there's not a whole lot of back and forth. And hopefully somebody can just go, oh yeah, you just need to do this. And I will go, oh right, that's what it says on page three. Because that's often what happens. Yeah, <laughs> stack, that's it. Everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite. To the point where everybody steals it. Which I, you know, whatever. You're going to steal, steal from the good stuff, right? Oh, yeah, so when I try and run this, this is the error I get. It happens in test directory. If I remove the dot, and do this, in tests, test score.py, Everything loads, but I can't access the class. The, what's the name of the class? What do we call the class? The sample class class. Access sample class. Uh, I've Tried our. All right, let's walk through them. Uh, so here's nope test core. Oh, whoops! I gotta actually back that off. Do that. Also, let me just make sure it's not something silly. Like you have to not have that, right? Nope, didn't think so. Uh, would that give me name error? So that one didn't work. This one didn't work. This one didn't work. This one didn't work. All right, so I think that's all the details. that I just threw the init.py files in the root and tests to see if that helped but it didn't um whoops like that
So let me see. Actually, I guess I should. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to do anything. That should like that's literally the code that's in the pay in the page and it isn't working. So I think I, I've, I've got an idea for ways to work around it, but like, why isn't that working? All right. Uh, how do we do syntax highlighting? Uh, syntax. Uh, stack, whatever. Where is it? Syntax highlighting. Nope. Language. No, I guess that's command. I don't know. Yeah, language is on. That's fine. This is Python. This is Python. And this is Python. All right. Let's go ask the question. Ah. Ears ringing for no reason at all. Can't create Python. Python. Um, that's a good title for this. Can't create project, Python project, tests via hitchhiker. Guide to Python method. All right. Try to build a project via the method described and then I got to Python, run into problems with the test structure. My files, the test part of my, the, yeah, my file structure looks like this. So, yep, sample core, there we go, tests with that, and oh, why didn't that work? Oh, because I moved it over, I got it. Too many scrolls, too many scrolls, too many scrolls. That should be over here. Didn't update. What the hell? Oh, did I do it twice? I did it twice. When I try to run test test core, Python 3.7, I get this error. What happens if I run a test from outside the test directory in it. If I remove the dot and do this in test core, everything loads, except, but I can't access sample class. Things I've tried are sample class, sample class, sample class, sample class. Uh, it's always weird to finish the questions, like, any ideas? Um, um, I tried on Python 2 as well. Similar problems. So what was the Python 2? Python tests test. No, uh, code. 
Oh, wait a minute. Now, if this works in Python 2, I didn't actually go through all these. Global name, sample class is not defined. Module object has no attribute sample class. You can put classes in modules, right? This is gonna be silly. Uh, all right, let's try this. Def thing one, whatever. Print something, I don't care what. Actually, let's do a pass, whatever, it's fine. Sample dot thing one. Is that gonna work? Sample has no attribute thing one. Okay. Makes me happy. What if we just do thing one? Thing one is not defined. Okay. Good that that didn't work. That would have been slightly embarrassing. Okay, that's cool. You good. Uh, okay. So I didn't try, okay, I guess the last thing I need to try is, there's like four differences of this variable, right? So last one is def thing one pass. thing one. So I need to try it in Python 2. Global name thing one is not defined. Yeah. Sample thing one. Module object has no attribute. Oh my god, if it's this, I'm going to freak out. Global thing one is not defined. Okay, no. Uh, core, core is not defined. Yeah, whatever, it's all the same, okay. a good way to end a stack overflow question. So I am in VS Code, but I've never used debug mode actually in it. Start debugging, it says up there. Run, start debugging. Ooh. Debug the currently active Python file. 
Well, the test ran. Oh, because... Here, let's do this. That's This is the first problem. Attempt relative import with no known package. Parent package. Okay. I think I googled that, but I don't remember what it said. Yeah, I've been to this page before, but I really don't remember what it said. Dot my module. So it's in. Yeah, I looked at this earlier and it didn't seem to hit. Because that dot is calling this. And that's what I'm trying to do. But it doesn't, it doesn't work. This is basically what I'm trying to do. Oh, parent package. Whatever. So here, here's the trick. I'm going to, I'm going to post this because as far as I can tell, I did exactly what's in that, um, uh, yeah, put a breakpoint in, right? Well, so it's it's messed up because it's like it's not even getting past this initial load. Um, so there's like there's there's almost nothing to look at yet. Um, but I'm actually going to put this in because as far as I can tell, I just went exactly what that uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python said to do, and it's not working. So. Um, I'm gonna I'll ask this question anyways, because like I I've I've got another I've got an idea how, how to like, try and figure it out, but like the fact that the code that has been on that page for years and years and years doesn't seem to work for me. I wanna know what I'm doing wrong. Um I think that parent package thing that we saw on the other page may help. I can tell if that's Python, but whatever. Oh yeah, let's tell if that's Python. Let's make it pretty. Oops. I hate when that scroll does that. I'm not gonna worry about telling it those are Python, that's fine. Um, Python. Are there different versions of Python in here? No, okay. Read your question, yes please. Make sure there's not something in here that's telling me the exact thing that I wanna know, doesn't look like it. Yeah, 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 pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, which one of my seven hundred right there? I guess. Nope. Good thought. In. I have that very distinct feeling that what's going to happen is somebody's going to come back and go, you know, read this sentence and then it will make sense. But like, I've been through it a few times and it's like, create this file, done, put this in it, call your test from this. And then it says, this will work. This will always work as expected, regardless of the installation method. Uh, it is not for me. So, I don't know what's going on. Uh, 
and I've been I've been back and through, and I like I expect I'm missing something, right? Because it's, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to see if I can actually fix it myself. So where was that post that we had a second ago? So that's the one that we're doing. Uh, how do we drag those? Is that how you drag them? Nope. Is there a way to drag these things now? Oh, there it goes. Um, so here we go. Parent pat package parent is going up to dot dot. System path append. Normal path join scripter. But I, th I have a feeling that all gets you to the same place. I do like that. Definitely. I like this theme a lot, mainly. Um, Cause system path insert. Oh, he's doing a append. Actually, hang on a second. But no, that's still, so, well, there's two problems. How do we stop it from debugging? Oh, there it is, probably that, yeah. Um, so problem one. Here, let me let me see if I can find this. Let's see if I can find something else on this. I have too many tabs open. Project, config, package, and that. Config pi contains some variables which you want to use in demo pi. You decided to do a relevant portable task. Right? Oh god, it's a one of those articles. Also, I can't see it. I gotta drop the font so I can see what's going on. Import. No, this is helping me. Uh, I don't know. We'll just see what people say. Uh, here we go. Try to use relative imports from the library and everything falls apart. Why? From dot base. You can only use relative inside the same package that you're currently in. If you're not inside a package, the relevant input just won't work. The way that you're running Python makes it think that you're not inside a package. If your module name folder is supposed to be the package and it looks like it is, it is they need to change the way you launch your code. I'll say I don't want to do that. You need to back up one directory and launch the code from there. Oh, no way. Is that what it is? Good Lord, I can't type Python, Py2 test, test, test. Nope. Make sure it's still, yeah, that still has that. So Python 3, 
Pi 2, which, whatever. Test, test. Nope. I don't get it. I mean, I don't understand it as the first part of the problem. Um, but you should be able to, but if I call them directly, so if I put, because you can just put stuff on the system path, right? So this is trying to make it easier to do. But if I do this here and drop it this way, um, from context insert sample, get rid of that. So let's grab this and do this and this and this. Let's spell import right. So if I just run this, what happens? Uh, first, we should do this. Now it happens. See? That works. Now, can I get to it? No, sample class is not defined. See, that may be where I'm also screwed somewhere. I don't understand. Oh, well, step one, let's uncomment it. See if that has anything to do with it. Sample class is not defined. See, okay, see now I'm in the same area where I don't know enough about modules. This is where I'm probably gonna get laughed at. But I will learn. Make a sample file, make a make file. See, this is all. There's nothing in here shows you what you need to be doing. Like those are the only lines of code in here. Structure code is key. All right, hang on. Easy structure and projects. Multiple messy circular dependencies. If your class is table and chair and fern.py, you need to import carpenter from workers to answer questions shall such as table is done by pin coupling. Oh, let's try this. So let's try that. Crap, sample has no. So we've got it. Dur uh sample. Wait, let's just print that. Print, dir, sample, go. So yeah, see, there's nothing in it. That's in package. Ooh, all kinds of goodness in there. Wait a minute, so is there... Run that again. Built-ins, cache doc, loader, name, spec, package, path. It's in path. Hmm. What if we just print sample? What's in there? Nothing. Try it again. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing as dir. I gotcha. Loader, file, doc, built-ins, doc. It's in doc. Yeah, none of this. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, what file is sample in? So, sample is the name of this module. Oh, should, maybe it's sample.core? Yeah. 
originally I had this as sample and sample, but this may, hang on, you may have just thrown me into a good position. Uh, print spring. What am I doing? SC equals that. Sample class is not defined. Crap. So is it, yeah, so it found sample and it found core. So this is sample core. So there's the class. Let me make sure I'm spelling it right. Yes, I'm spelling it right. What if we do this? Hey, we found it. My God, that took a lot of work. Oh God, where's my question? Well, no, my question still stands because that dot, that dot, in, like the it, it failed on that dot import to start with. Um, so all the rest of that stuff is off. Uh, however, yeah, actually, let me try from. Let's go back. I just want to see if that can work across the board. So there's that context, right? Oh, it's loading sample. Okay, let's try this. So let's take this out from context, import sample. So let's just see if that passes. No, has no attribute core. See, now it doesn't have core again. But if we do sample.core, what about this? Can't import sample.core. Oh, so you can't do. Wait a minute. What if we do sample.core here? Does that work? that work okay so that that worked that's really confusing but that dot that dot context is what throws it sweet thank you that is awesome that would you uh, you got me you got me pointing in the right direction absolutely there I appreciate it. All right, so let me, I wanna build one of these from scratch just to make sure I understand what's going on, right? So let's just do that. Um, make their proj for test go, whatever. Uh, so first things first, get rid of that. Second things first, set up a virtual environment for ourselves here. Python 3M virtual environment, virtual environment. Whoops, spelled it wrong. I mean, it's still gonna make it because that's just the name of the directory. But that's gonna mess with me forever even though this is a short-term project, whatever. Throw away code. So SVA gets me into it. Okay, so here we go. So hello world, which is spelled W-O-R-L-D. and tests and inside hello world we needed a net dot pi and then i'm going to put hello world again in here 
just to see if we can make this happen. Yes, that's Python. That's cool. Let's do it. Tests. New file. Test. Hello world. W-O-R-L-D dot pi. And new file context dot pi. All right. So. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, so here they're calling sample. But it really should have been sample.core. Uh, yeah, but see, I thought it was supposed to call the module. Like, whatever. We're going we're gonna to do it again for a second. So that's going to be hello world. Um, from context, import hello world. I want to try this this way. Hello world dot hello world. And then hello world class hello world class. Let's spell it like that. Um, def say it print. Hello, world, I guess. I was going to come up with something else, but I can't right now. All right, so this is in the test. So step one is, does this run? It wants a linear as well. Sure, why not? Uh, okay, let's actually put a test suite on this. So, because that's really what we're doing, right? Import unit test. Class, hello world, test, unit test, test case, def test, it works. Self, self, uh, third equal, one, one. I just want to do a tone test here for a second and see if everything's actually green. Um, so if name equals main unit test main. All right, does this run? Yes, ran one test. Okay, so that's importing it. It's calling all the right things. So let's actually make this a real test, right? Say it. Say is, say it. Does it test? Return true. Hello world equals hello world, hello world. I think we need one more there, right? Does that work? That worked. I don't remember if that was the right thing or not. That was the right thing. And let's just prove it by making this false. That should fail. False is not true. <sighs> yeah, okay. So that's how you do it. This is craziness. So can you do... So if you import hello world here, and then you move this over here, that fails, right? Yeah, you can't do an import syntax on the dot there for some reason. I kind of don't care right now. 
God. I'm trying to set up like a... I'm trying to get the way that I want to build stuff done. And I've never been super happy with it because I've usually had tests in the same directory as the um, as the scripts. And so I wanted to move them out and that's what I'm trying to solve for here. Um, and that's that page is the page that I kept coming back to. Or like every time I, I searched for like how to set up a module or a directory structure or whatever, that page came up. And so finally I was like, oh, okay, I'll like really kind of dig into this and do it. And then it wasn't working. And that's still super confusing to me. Um, so I don't know if I should update that question and just say I figured out how to do it, but I still want to know. I think I'm going to let it sit for a little while because I still want to like, I don't know, sometimes when people put the like answer their own questions in the question, it's kind of weird. Because there's two there's two parts to the question, right? Part one is how do I make this work, which I've solved. But the real but the other question is why doesn't the documentation work? Like what's wrong with with what's happening here? Um, and then going from there, my guess is it's going to be like some weird Python two thing um, or just a really not good description of how to make those calls. But like. They talked about putting the tests in the test directory, which I did. They talked about putting that context file there, and they and it said import sample, which is the one up above it. So, like that's it. Um, I just want to play around this for another minute. So, actually, what I want to do is get this documented so that I don't lose it, right? Because that would be silly. I mean, I'm sure I can get back to there now. Like I've got it directionally um but I wanted so this is a little confusing however that's okay confusing let me add one more file in here just to make it super obvious um goodbye cruel world dot pi Is it goodbye or BYE? How do you spell goodbye? It's it's BYE, right? Godbye? I can't. Um Yeah, BYE, right? Yes. Totally spelled that wrong. Spelling is not my strong suit. Goodbye world. Def. Say goodbye, self, return, goodbye. Why is it yelling at that? Oh, that's also spelled wrong. I am all over right now. Goodbye, 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 okay. So let's make sure I've got an understanding of how this stuff is going, right? So what I should be able to do, so hello world is this and it's doing that. So I think what I need to do is that. So let's see if that compiles to start with. Yep. Goodbye, world. It's very permanent. Goodbye, world is. So we're going to do hello, world, goodbye, world. Goodbye, world. And then self, uh, and then expected equals, I think I did it with a capital. Goodbye, actual 
equals mm -mm, dot say goodbye self assert equal expected actual what do you think two test passing that's how you do it so let's just add something there to break it so we make sure that it really is testing what it's testing and it is because we see that <sighs> okay doesn't like those imports for some reason um so we're gonna document that <sighs> pi structure setup 2020 uh, that's fine. We can do that. Hold notes. Okay. Um, so let's do this. Tree. Whoa. Where is all that jazz coming from? Oh, it's a virtual environment. Uh, what happens if you delete a virtual environment while you're inside the virtual environment? Is that virtual death? Goodbye. with module, with project, module, to include tests. So we're gonna drop PyCache, we don't need any of those. There we go, that's our actual tree. That's a lot easier to deal with. Like, I want. I, I really want to document this stuff so that I don't ever have to go through that again. No, oh, actually, I do want to do one thing. Um, it's the first thing we can do. Python three and VNV VNV. We can rebuild that. Not that it super matters, but just makes it going. So for Hello World, I just want to make it say hello, return, hello. I mean, if we're going to do it, might as well do it right. Goodbye, goodbye world. It's like having it like if I'm gonna do an example, I want the example as clear as possible for the stuff. Um, and we're gonna do this too. Cause I like having that. I am totally all over the place with doing this. Goodbye, world. Here, add exclamations too, why not? So this will be hello. Oh yeah, I like this too. Doop, doop. 
actual, it's going to be HW say hello. All right. <laughs> what are the odds that I got all that right? Not high. Hey, got lucky. All right, so goodbye world is here. Hello world is here. Yeah, I really, it's super funny. Like I feel, I'm always nervous a little bit on Stack Overflow with like posting that stuff. Cause it's like, I'm gonna, I feel like I missed something obvious. Um, whoops. Tests context. Let me put that in there. Why was that not going all the way over? That is super weird. That one did. Okay, whatever. And tests, test, hello world, which really has both of the things in there, but that's fine. Close enough for right now. Sweet. All right. Cool. I'm going to take a real quick break. Grab a drink. Be right back. Am I missing anything? So... Pie cache isn't there. We've got a knit here. Goodbye world here. Hello world here. Context thing. Cool. All right, I'll be right back.
plus a little snacky snack. <sighs> Delicious Cherry Coke Zero, everybody's favorite. No shit. Bear with me. Sorry, one second. Sorry. Hey, buddy. I should not be texting on stream. But this one's worth it. Also, I was about two hours late responding. Oops. on stream. Awesome. Yeah, so the question is... See, what I'd like to be able to do this is super like that's a super lot of stuff like it's got to be a better way to do that like how so we're in context so those pass but if I take one of these away actually let me get rid of yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Hello world has no attribute. Hello world. Okay. So, but if we take this away, what happens? Hello world has no attribute. Hello world. Right. So it's... Oh, but wait a minute. Is that still import? Now I'm just tr trying to figure out where all this stuff happens. Just make sure I can get back to it. Uh, okay, yeah, it's shorter. I still don't understand why that... Yeah. Python... Oh, I just did something funny. There we go. Python import dot context. I have module name module of pi, which checks in a global variable in context. This is rather hackish, don't want to put in code since not all implementations of Python. Nah, that's admit. Python import module beside file. No 
Note that .py extension has been removed. Update answer below is outdated. Well, which one's outdated? This is from 2010 too. See, I feel like everybody knows this but me. Like, it seems like it's like so obvious. And this is the way you can do it. Like, I know you can get directly to it, right? So I wanna try that for a second. Cause I think if you do that, you don't have to do all this context bounced. Um, Wait a minute, I think I may have just, let's try something here. Import hello world. Let me take this test out of the mix for a second. So from, what about context dot hello world, import hello world, what does that do? Context is not a package. Attempt, attempted relative import with no known pack, parent package. Like I swear, I, I still wanna figure out why that is. Like that one still bugs me. I should let it go, you know, like frozen. Yes, I just made a frozen reference. I have nieces. Also, not a bad movie. I'm gonna structure. Treat all import statements if the file's in the same folder as the main folder launching in the app. How can I achieve this? Start by taking. time with this and then I'm going to bounce. Same thing, like, and you put an it up there too, it still does the same thing. Oh well, it's worth a shot. I got something working, it's all I need. All we need. Yeah, the only question becomes, is it worth it to have that context? Because if I do this directly, then I can just do import hello world here. He's gonna crash. No attribute hello world, but if I do this, no. Uh, oh, actually, that should work, right? That could work. Failed. Hello world is no attribute hello world. Does that get us all the way back to the classes? That would be cool. Hello world is not defined. Crap! I thought we had that. I'm not worried about it at this point. Like I just, I'm trying to gauge, like it's kind of ugly having all that like hello world, that hello world, that hello world up there. So we're importing it properly. Otherwise it would puke here, right? Cause if that's there, this pukes. Hello world, uh, not there, not a thing. Okay, cool. So wait, I thought that worked. 
you have to like export them somehow? I am learning Python. Cat import name, hello world from hello world. Make sure it's actually still in there. Yeah, it's there, okay. Now I'm curious how this works, because this worked a minute ago. Name hello world is not defined. And we are spelling it right, right? From hello world, input hello world. Yeah, okay. I think I tried that. And it's weird. Like, I'm struggling with... Wait, yeah, can import name. So can't import name. I'm trying to call a class. I'm not really sure if that's how you do that. From file import class. I got it. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, do I have to do... Hang on. Self is not defined. Oh, because I'm not in a thing. Test thing self. That's it. So I had to get to the second file. That makes sense, right? Because you're going down the path. So is there... Like, if I've got all these modules, or if I've got these classes, or these files in these classes, is there a way to basically say, give me everything inside Hello World? Like, I want all the classes? Like, underneath the, the module, I guess? Any idea there? Because that would be cool. Like, I, I don't have that many modules, or that many classes, so I could call them all independently. But, like, the I'm putting a class inside each file, or at least that's my plan. And it'd be cool to just be able to say like, hey, give me, give me the hello world suite. That's far as I know, I don't know. Okay, but that's no worries. I could probably go look around and see if there's anybody else. Like, it's funny, like this stuff just, I, I spent a while um, trying to figure out, so I've got, there's a, um, every time I've looked up how to do packages and repositories or stuff, I've hit this page and you come down to this code that's talks about how to do the sampling or how to do the testing. This doesn't work. Um, did not work for me. I was unable to get it to work after a few different tribes. So now I'm kind of hacking around myself to, to figure out how to go. Can only call from file, not folder. Okay. Gotcha. I'm trying so how does it like because like they have so like if they do huh, Python source code I'm just thinking about like iOS or iOS um, I'm just thinking about like OS right import OS and then there's stuff that you can do with that but I guess you call no you call OS dot whatever dot whatever right okay so you're just walking down the tree. That actually makes sense. If you happen to have said YouTube video, that would be awesome. I will also Google for it, but um, that's cool. Yeah, I, I'm still kind of getting my head around it. Um, Python, is this it? I've never really dug into the code before, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna see is if there was, um, oh, wait, wait, yeah, sorry, no, it's C it's not written in Python. Python's not written in Python. Never mind. not really gonna dig into that source code. 
I was going to go look and see if I could see the package structure uh, coming down, but that's not how that's built at all, right? So never mind. That is not a task I want to try and undertake right now. I like this. That's a really good avatar. Kind of creepy. Kind of crazy. Uh, sweet. But yeah, so I got... <laughs> it took me a couple hours to figure out how to actually do this test stuff. Um, like, I've been testing in general, but like most of the time I have the tests in the same directory as the, as the scripts. And so I wanted to get this structure. Like I'm trying to define the structure that I want to use going forward. And this was basically the structure. I just couldn't get it to fire off of the way that that person was talking about in that thing. So, um, this works. I like this. I'm good with this. Oh, I wonder if you put multiple classes in the same file, if you could do like a star on it. Does a star work here? Oh, I'll bet that's what you can do. So they'd have to be in the same file. Because I'll bet if we put a class, um, hello world, goodbye world, what is up world. I bet if we do this, Def, say what up self. Let's check this real quick. Return what up. Can we make that be a thing? What up? I'm just, I'm not putting this in a good place, but I just want to see what happens. What is up world? Oh, wow, it caught it. Okay, so you can do that. So you can import star across a file. So you gotta, oh, from the file. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, f file, you have to watch out for namespace collisions, right? Is what gets you on that. Or just build, pulling in a whole bunch of stuff. Well, the other one that I've seen too is for namespace collision stuff is people recommending like... Oh, how would you do... Oh, interesting. Let me try this. Hang on a second. And I'm just messing around at this point. I, you can't do a dot there, right? Does that explode? Yeah, you can't do a dot there. So you got to hit to the path. And then get to the class. Sweet. So everybody with commas. Right, so I can do my what up in here. This way is what you're saying. What is up world? Look at that. That passes, and then this pass. Sweet. Okay. Very cool. Now, I've seen people do namespacey type stuff. Oh, 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 that would be this way, right? Hang on, let's try this. Let's try typing to start with. Hello world, hello world. This should, okay, I think I know what's gonna happen. This isn't gonna work because these don't have the namespace in front of it. I think something just clicked because I'm just importing these without the from and the whatever. But if I do this and put in the namespace, that works. Okay, that all just made sense. That makes sense now. So, and if I just do hello world without the other one, does that, can I still get to it? No, cannot. Wait, that did pass, right? I'm not making that up. Did I make that up? Yeah, it passed. Okay. I got it. That just made sense. <laughs> it's fun to see things actually click, right? I, it had never really occurred to me, obviously, 
the that that's really just files in classes. Like, it is obvious to me now that that is the structure, but it never clicked. Thank you for the help, sir. Or ma'am. Kind friend. Stranger? Whatever. Hello. <sighs> that's cool. Okay, that makes is that that makes a ton of sense. I still I still don't understand. Okay, so I I got one for you. Um the thing that we were trying to do earlier is was this. So the way that that hitchhiker's guide to Python says to do it is to you make a context file and you just import hello world, which is supposed to be this module up here and theoretically all the stuff that's in it. But the way that it said to do it was to do from dot context import hello world. The dot does not work for me. It gives me this import error attempt relative import with known whatever. If I take the dot away, it works. I can get to it. That that'll go. Uh, I got to do something down here to make it happen. But um, I don't understand that. That's that's one that I don't get because like it's sitting in the same directory. And this is literally the code that's out of that thing, which is where I've seen ev everything in the web seems to point to that. So I asked a Stack Overflow question. I may have said that earlier about that. But if you have magic, if you know the magic behind that, I'd be curious. I'm not super worried about it right now because I have working code. Um, oh, it means the directory above. Uh, then they told me to put it in the wrong directory. Move. Uh, bup, 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 bup. From form, it's like from. Mm, still failing. Still the same thing. It just doesn't like it. And I don't know if I've got something weird set up, but I did. I tried it in code. I tried it on my command line. I tried it with Python 3 and tried it with Python 2. Um, and it just, it wasn't having it. Um, yeah, it's this no known parent package. And I tried to Google it a bunch and like, no, like there's not a whole lot that comes up from it. Um, none of those pages were helpful. Here, I didn't get to the core page here. Let's see what that's got. Yep, coming up. So, context pie is this. Yeah, so. The theoretical thing that this does is if you've got files inside of Hello World that you're trying to shoot for, you put, well, sorry, it was in, per the sample, it's in the test directory with you because you're trying to basically have your test files be able to call this context file and load data from it so that it does all your other imports for your modules that are actually up in this directory. Um, so this this is the code this is the sample code um that was presented uh and then in the test file you would call it with from dot context import hello world hello 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 hacker speak um but every time i try from with a dot in front of it it explodes like it gives me this relative context error yeah and i couldn't get it to work so i'm still i'm still curious though because that page is like i've seen that page for years and i kind of can't believe that that code has been there for years that doesn't work um because it, it's like if you do, I think it's like whatever, Python module or 
uh, Python directory structure, maybe? Hang on. Let me see. I forgot how I, I forgot how I got there. Um, it's one of the first things that came up from several of my searches. Uh, what is editor X? Oh, that's not an answer. God, get out of there. Module here. Packages or modules that contain other modules, usually with a the main is the module assigned. Now, if you run uh, Python, will create a single module named main. From that file, it'll start running main. It's not a package. If you want to execute as a package, Python M graphics format. This is not helping me. What is the core reason for that in Python? Yeah, these aren't helping. I don't care. Like I, I've lost. Like I, I put a Stack Overflow question up. We'll see what happens if anybody answers it. Um, nobody yet. And it's been, it's been viewed 13 times. And it's been an hour. Da, da, da. Whatever. Um, but again, I'm not worried. I got, I got working code. Uh, and I, I knew how to, and I could actually have gotten it. I think I had this working through some jump or whatever, but like, I've got no problem just putting this at the top of all my files. Like, that's fine. No problem with that at all. Um, I just need to make style decisions about if I want to do um, the from imports to get to them, which I think I like better because then you're not stacking. Like, I kind of like namespaces with some stuff, but like for tests, it'll be fine. Um, so we can do that, we can do this and this, and I should be able to hit these directly, right? By class. That all gonna work. Test ran. Huzzah! That was nuts. Uh, let me see, did I put that right in my notes? I recently changed the color of my notes application. I'm not... It's not awful, but like it's not really where I was gonna end up. Um, or from hello world, hello world. I like I have to apologize for the color of my graphics because it's like, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't have to apologize, but it's like, it definitely is like one of those. This isn't, that doesn't get where I was headed. Um, oh, really? From here? Like, drop this, is that what you mean? Let me put you over here so I can see you. Uh, so it says, negative Ghost Rider. Did not like that. Yeah, because it's talking, it's got to go up a directory, I think is the problem, right? And then come back down. Which is, so this, yeah, so this gets existing file name, gets its directory, joins it with dot dot to jump up a directory, builds the absolute path to that directory, and then puts it on. I don't know why I did it in an insert instead of an append. Um, I don't, 
actually know the difference. I mean, append would be obviously at the end. I guess insert zero means drop it at the start because you want to hit that first, I'm guessing. And so I've got, okay, so this this will crash out because I don't, I'm not, I'm just back and back and forth just to make sure I understand. I've, I'm getting this in my head right now, so bear with me a minute. Yeah, so goodbye world not defined because, and we know that, but if we do, whoops, if we do this, goodbye world, good, by world. Yeah, and so it found it already through autocomplete, which is another good sign. So when I was messing around with that context stuff, it couldn't autocomplete or the IntelliSense or whatever it is, couldn't jump and find it. So this is another good reason to keep this in here and just do it this way. Um, I still, so I used to be a little bit more suspect about like, oh, I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but like as long as it's hitting the modules and it's doing the tests, I'm comfortable with this methodology. If somebody shows me a, like a more Pythonic or a better methodology, I'm into it. I got no problem. But right now I need it to work. So it's working. Woo. Um. All right, so let me make real sure I've got the notes on that, right? So context. No, oh, actually, screw context. I'm not even gonna use that. Um, oh yeah, so this is how I was doing it with the context. You could, oh, so wait, take those out of there. That didn't work on this one. So you could do it with the context by calling it this way inside that context file and then inside the test files, you would do from context import the hello world. And then when you called the when to get to the classes, you would do hello world dot hello world dot hello world. Um, that worked, but like to your point of convolution, convoluted. Like I'd rather like the only thing that's really saving is if I have multiple test files, not putting that in multiple test files, like some minor duplication of code. But like I'd rather have it be explicit and understand what's happening, and like have IntelliSense be able to pick it up. So. Um, note, this is how to do it with guide to Python, guide to Python. Use the one above where you just call the modules directly from the tests. See ya. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Whoop. Okay. Uh, sweet. So let's tree this. Because we're in project four test go, right? Project four test go, cool. All right, so boop, boop, boop. I'll close all these. Does it have a virtual environment? It does. Deactivate. Let's get out of there. Deactivate RMRF virtual environment. Let's get rid of this. Get down to just the stuff that we need. So we're gonna delete our that one because it doesn't need to be there. Pycash is fine. And it we need. Do we need a net? That's actually an interesting question. Uh test. This still works, right? Oh, select Python interpreter. What am I doing? Uh, Python 3. M virtual environment. V E N V. V E N V. V E N V. No virtual environment. Do you want to select it? 
Yes, I do. Did it load? Whoops. I'll do that. Cool. Give this a minute. Hello world, goodbye world. Okay. Everybody cool? You should finish up. Run two tests. Okay, so if I delete this and run this, it still works. Okay, so you don't even need that. And we don't need this context file. I like this better. Okay, cool. I'm glad I went through. I actually am really glad I went through that exercise. That is super helpful. This is cool. Okay, this will work. Def test what is up world self go. One of these days, I'll remember that I got that. Okay, good. What is up? world run tests that should pass sweet what's up what is up what up whatever what up that'll still pass who is what is up world Boo dot. Oh, it doesn't get all the way over there. Say, oh, maybe it does. Say? Nope. Nope. I think PyCharm would have gotten over there and actually picked up this. So that's going to fail because I got the thing wrong, right? Yeah. What's up? What's up? That's going to fail because there's double question marks. Just want to see it. Just want to see it. There we go. Up oh, question mark. This shall pass. Weird. Sometimes it like freaks out and doesn't get there. Okay, there's your module structure with your tests. from here tree can I copy it from here nope tree so we don't need the pie cash Don't need pie cash. Oh, and then what you could do
Yeah, naming is the thing I want to work on a little bit. Um, Cause the question is, can you get, you can go down a directory, right? So if I create something at the root, run, hello. That looks weird for some reason. World. Use event environment, Python three, import, hello world. Oh, let's bring Python back. Do do do. Sorry, I was staring in space there. Uh. And then here, oh, how did we do it? Change language mode. Python. There we go. One's not a small chirk if we're, we should just make that happen in general. Uh, So if I run that, does that run? Nope. Hello. Hello world is not defined. Uh, right, because it's going to be this. There you go. And then we can do this. And we can do that. And that's going to work. Sweet. Okay. You know what they should do with tree is for each directory level, you should print another line like that. That would be cool if tree did that. Okay, cool. That's my structure. Found it. say it's cool say hello world hello world slash goodbye world Hello world slash hello world.
test, test hello world. All right, so there's that. Here's tests. Hello world, hello world. Yep, good example, because it has two classes in there. We're cool there. And goodbye world. <laughs> dark thoughts. Well, dark humor, sorry, not thoughts. Dark humor. Okay, cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I feel good about that. All right, let's get rid of some of these. Um, Hello World CLI. Okay, we're gonna maybe come back to that one. I don't know. First, we're going to get rid of some of these on the desktop because we got a bunch. One, two, three, four. Three, four, three, four. Okay. Cool. All right, now we're going to try and see Hmm. Oh, almost six. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break for a little while. I'll come back later because I want to see. So that's again. I'm I'm building these Legos, and now I've got that piece built, which is the structure of how I want to do my setups and get them tested. And the next thing is gonna be. Oh, so I need to figure out where I'm going to put config files and how I'm going to put configs in. I'll work on that. That'll be an ongoing process. But the next thing I want to do is fire up one that is just a straight command line tool. Uh, and I saw some stuff last night about how to do that. Um, but I'm going to take a break for a little while and then I'll be back on later and then we'll uh, play around with that. So cool. See y'all. Thanks. Take it easy.